Hi everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to my tutorial for the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World on a single loom. He's going to be a decent size though. You can check out the find at the end of the last video for or to see what he looks like at the end. Um, for this tutorial, you can see the description for the band count. It is dedicated to Ilana from Canada. Yay! Who went to see the premiere when it first came out. I went on Saturday night that weekend and it was crazy busy. So I went back on Monday night and I got in, but it was still crazy busy on a Monday night. <laughs> very, very uh, popular movie. So I figured I would do a tutorial for the Indominus Rex. Rawr. Just so you know, in this tutorial, you will need to be uh, mirroring things. For example, I will be making one leg with you and one arm, and I will tell you to go back and mirror it when you make the second one. So if you don't know how to do symmetry, um, what you can do is you can hold your screen up to a mirror during those parts and just see how I do it in the mirror, and that will make it symmetrical. Okay, otherwise you're going to make two left feet <laughs> and two left arms. You don't want that. Okay, um, you do not need to hold it up in front of a mirror if you know how to do symmetry without that. But I just figured I'd give you the heads up. All right, but I did manage to do it on one loom, so um, let's begin. I'm actually using the metallic white for the regular um, sets and then just regular white for the double looped sets. I'm also using some clear for some of the horizontal bands, okay? But if you wanna do it all white, just follow the um, band count in the description. All right, I'm also using the um, Lava Red for the eyes, which is a really cool, it's like a shiny um, band for the eyes. All right, and the teeth are kind of a mango orange color or neon orange because in the movie they actually are kind of yellow, so I figured I'd make them yellow too. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's begin here. We're gonna start with the head. This is the probably the trickiest part, so don't get discouraged if it's difficult for you. Okay, I'm going to start by taking two bands at a time. Okay. Accidentally grabbing the regular white instead of the metallic white. Each. Okay, so I went down eight times there. Okay, I went down three times there. And three times here. Okay, now I'm going to make the eyes. Okay, I'm going to take my hook. I recommend using a metal hook, by the way, if you're using the plastic one, it's probably going to break during this project. All right, so we're going to make him some eyebrows. Okay, so I'm going to take a white band and I'm going to wrap it around my hook, creating five loops. Okay. I'm going to do that two more times. Okay. Now I'm going to double loop a white band, put it on my hook, and pull over all those bands onto that double looped band. Push it down on your hook and stick your finger through the other end. You're going to take your eye color, which again was the lava red for me. You're going to wrap it creating four loops on your hook and then take a black for the pupil, wrap that around creating four loops. Then you're going to bring two loops of the red onto the other side of the black. Okay, and then grab 
those two loops onto your hook like that. Okay. Roar. Okay. Now you're going to take a double looped white band onto your hook and pull all those onto the double looped white band. It's a little tricky and you also want to make sure you pull them over in order. Okay, so first the red, then the black, red, and then the other side of the white. Okay, then you're going to place the loops here and here and you're going to turn it so it's pretty much right side up. Okay, now we have to make the other eye. Okay, so we're going to do that exact same thing again. Wrapping the white band around, creating five loops. Doing that three times. Then double looping a white. And pulling those bands onto there. Pushing it down, grabbing the other end with your finger, then taking the eye color. Wrap it around, creating four loops. Take a black, wrap that around, creating four loops. Okay, and then double loop of white and pull in order all those bands on there. Okay, and loop the ends around this peg and this peg. And again, turn the eye so that it's facing up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to reverse my eye only because it's wrinkly on the one side. You don't have to. Don't, don't worry about turning your eye like I am right now. I'm just um, adjusting this because you want the good side. If there's a good side versus a bad side, you want the good side to face the outside. Okay, just so you know. Good side faces the outside. Yeah, okay, good. All right, now I'm going to continue to double loop my white bands. Okay, I'm going to straighten out them, uh, these bands, if they're, especially if they're um, a little bit twisted. Okay, you want to straighten them out. And if they look like they're going to break, like this one does, you want to make sure you replace it with one that's not going to break. Okay. Okay, now. I'm getting cap off down here with a white. Wrap it around, creating four loops. Okay. Now I'm going to take a black band and I'm going to wrap it around my hook, creating five loops. And I'm going to do that again with another one. Okay. Now I'm going to take a double loop white band, pull it on, I'm going to wrap the loops of the double loop band on these two pegs, then you're going to spread the nostrils apart, and then you're going to go in between and grab two of the four bands in between. And then bring it up like that. All right, now I'm going to double loop another right there. 
and another. And let's see. another here. And one more double loop here. Okay, now I'm going to take two there and two here. Okay, dig down and you're going to grab the top bands, loop them over, then grab the next band, loop that, and then the final ones, loop up. Okay, I'm going to loop up to here, I think. I think it was here, actually. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there. Okay, I'm going to make one of those big spikes that are on his head. So I'm going to take white band, wrap it around, creating five loops. Double loop of white. Pull it on, reclaim, double loop, another, pull it on, reclaim, double loop, another, and one more. So we have a cat band followed by four double looped bands. Okay, I'm going to wrap it around this peg so that it's curved upward. Okay, I'm going to loop up, okay, I'm going to loop up again, and now you're going to make another one of those, same exact way with the four double looped, again wrapping it around so it's curved up, and looping up twice, okay. All right, now I'm going to go back in here. By the way, oh, band snapped. When that happens, I just have to fix it. You're going to have to be patient with me while I fix it. Okay, I'm going to go up to there and stop. Something over here. Don't break on me again. Okay, good. Okay, now we're gonna make that spiky thing that's a, that's like kind of on top of his eye, and we're going to do that by taking a white, wrapping it around, creating five loops double looping a white and pulling that cap onto it and then taking three white and pulling that onto there okay and then we're going to loop this band and as we loop it we're going to pull that spike onto it and then loop it over like that okay and then I can loop the rest of the way up. Alright, let's make another one of those spikes for the other side. Yeah, okay. So exactly the same way you made that one over there. Okay, then gently, gently grab the double looped band here and pull that on. Loop it up. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Rawr. Now I'm going to um, tie off my three ends here with any color band. It doesn't matter. Use scrap bands. We will be taking these bands off eventually, so it really doesn't matter. And then very gently with your hook from the bottom, we're going to lift and lift. This is only half of the upper part of the head, by the way, so it's going to look funny when you pull it off. Just warning you. We have not done the teeth yet. have to do is we have to pop this nose this way pop. and these spikes can be adjusted now these eyebrows you can take these off later if you don't like them but first we're going to attach this to the bottom part of the head so it might end up looking pretty cool so let's do that first okay so I'm taking two bands here, and here, and here, okay, two here, and two here, Actually, let's put these here. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your tooth color. For me, again, that's the mango or the neon orange. Wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Then take those two bands and pull it on to those two bands. And put it like that. Okay, let's do the other side. Another tooth, creating five loops on your hook. Taking two bands. Pulling it on, putting it like that. All right, now let's do another two, three, four, five. But now we're going to be double looping a single band and pull it onto there. All right, let's do the other side. Double loop again. So we are just repeating this. Okay. You know what, that tooth is a little off color, so I'm going to use a different one. 
Sorry, when you work so hard on a design, you just want it to be perfect. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So one more for the other side. Okay, and now we're going to double loop here, and again here, and cap off here by wrapping around creating, actually no, we're not wrapping around, just kidding, all right. Now you're going to take your head, okay, remember that the top is the one with the spikes and the horns, okay, the bottom is this, okay, so we're going to hold it like this. Upside down, go through the loops in the tip, and you're going to wrap them around this tip. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to loop over the first set on this side, and then this side. Okay, I'm going to lift, and now I'm going to grab the corner loops here. Not the whole set, I'm just grabbing the corner loops, and I'm going to flip the head and wrap those corner loops of that first set around there. Okay. Dig down and loop up the next set. Alright, let's do that on this side. The corner. Wrap around. Loop up. Okay, now we're going to focus on the next set. Go through the two corner loops in that set. Wrap around. Loop up. And as we go, we can actually lift off as we go, because it's going to get tight, because these are double looped bands, so as we go up, we can lift up a set at a time. Okay. Okay, this is the set right before the eye. Okay, so loop up, same thing on this side, the set right before the eye, remember only the corner loops. Okay, now we're, we've reached the eye set. You're going to go beh behind the eye, okay, and grab the corners from behind. Okay. Okay, but I have to actually find the right bins here. Hold on, guys. Okay, no, I just want to make sure I wrapped the right set around this side. Because you want it to be the same. Whatever loops you end up wrapping around, you want it to be the same on both sides, so I'm just going to double check this one. Just make sure it was the right set. And yes, I think it was, but no, it wasn't. Okay, there we go. Now that should be better. Okay, and then I'm going to lift up a little more. Ah. <laughs> so creepy. All right, and continuing with the corners, right around here, loop up. It's getting a little easier now because sometimes you have to pull on the row to see which ones are in the corner. So just do what you got to do. Okay.
Roar, so creepy. <laughs> okay, up here. Right here. Okay, so you, if you did that right, you should just have these three loose ends left and no more in the row. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the loops on this side and wrap them around this peg. Then I'm going to loop over and then I'm going to loop up this guy. Alright, and then I'm going to go through this set on the other side. Wrap them around this guy. And then I'm going to loop over here and then up here. Okay, I'm going to lift up a little bit here. Roar. Okay. Alright, and then you're going to go through the center set. You're going to wrap this around this peg. Okay, then you're going to make another one of these long spike things. So the cat band with the four double looped like we did before. Okay, so let's say I just made that. And now I'm going to have that on my hook and I'm going to loop up these final two bands here. And as I loop them, I'm going to drag that spike onto them and then attach. Okay, now I'm going to tie off these ends with a color different than this. Okay, so I have mango tying there. I'm going to use black here, just so we don't get confused. Okay, Rawr. <laughs> that's cool. All right, so we should have three large spikes on his head. Okay, I'm gonna take off the mango colored tying bands. Now, R. okay, if you want to take off the three eyebrow bands, you can, okay? Um, because it does make the eyes kind of sag a little bit, or you can kind of figure out how to tie them up a little bit. All right, but leave these spikes on because you want them to stay there, okay? All right, so now we're going to do some of the neck, okay? Okay, so I'm going to take two bands at a time. We didn't do the bottom jaw yet. We're going to do that at the end when we do the stomach, just so you know, so don't be like shocked as to why he doesn't have a bottom jaw yet. <laughs> That's why. I'm going to take this one off and move it here. Okay. 
Okay. Now. You're going to take your head and you're going to hold it right side up. Okay. Okay. And you're going to wrap this band around here. Okay. So that first band on that side. You're going to wrap the center set around here. Once you've wrapped that center set, then loop up once, and then you're going to make another one of these spiky things, but instead of doing four double looped, you're going to do three. Okay, so a cap band followed by three double looped bands. You're going to attach it so it's curving upward. Okay, loop twice. Attach another one that same size with the three. Oops. Okay, so cap band with three double looped bands. Oops, that one only has two. What am I doing? Hmm. It's got a three. Three, three, three. Okay. And loop up twice. Okay. Let's attach the other side here. All right, we're gonna make some knobs. All you're going to do is just take a white band, wrap it around your hook, creating five loops, double loop a white, pull that on, and reclaim. You want to make ten for this part of the video. Okay, and once you've made one, you're going to grab those loops, and as you loop them up, you're going to attach that little knob onto there. Okay. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side with the other five. One more. Okay. Oh, but attach that on. Don't forget to attach this guy. Okay. All right. So again, we are tying off our loose ends here. 
dry off with black. And then gently lift him off from the bottom. Now we can take off the three tying bands here. Grr, sometimes when you rip them off, they just get stuck on there. Grr. You can also use, if your spikes are crooked, you can use your hook to straighten them out. You know, they're bending. Okay, awesome. Haha, <laughs> okay, let's work on the front legs. Okay. I'm using clear for the claw color. Okay. Um. Yes, I'm using clear for the claw color. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. So wrap it around, creating five loops. Double loop. Okay, and now you're gonna take. A white band, double loop it like that. Okay, push it down on your hook. Take another clear, wrap it around, creating five loops. Take another one, double loop it. Pull it on. Take a white, pull it on, oops, okay, so this is going to be the thumb and first finger, okay? All right, now let's do the middle finger. So a white wrapped around creating five loops, then a white. Pull it on, double loop of white. Pull it on, double loop another white. Pull it on. So this finger is a little bit longer, okay? Now we gotta push it down because we gotta make one more. Okay, wrap around creating five loops. Then double loop. Pull on, reclean, then a white, okay, now I'm going to double loop a white, and I'm going to pull the first three sets onto there, the first three toes, so pull on three, one, two, three, pull it down on your hook, finger through the loop, take two, white bands and wrap them around creating three loops with them in there. Put the loops back onto your hook. Okay, and then you're going to take another double looped. You're going to pull them all onto there. Okay. 
Okay, reclaim, and then you're gonna take one more double loop, and you're gonna pull that foot on there, and then you're also gonna pull this thumb on, okay? And then you're gonna reclaim like that, okay? Rawr. So that is one foot for the front. Okay. I'm going to take my loom and I'm going to change it to rectangular and I'm going to take two white bands at a time Okay, I'm going to double loop some white. Like that. Now I'm going to take three of the metallic at a time. Like that. Now you're going to take your foot and you're going to attach it to here so the thumb is facing down. Okay, thumb is facing down. Okay, now it's probably going to be twisted when you take it off, so you need to stick your hook in between the sets and tug on them to untwist them. Especially if you're using the metallic bands, they will most definitely be all twisted up. And when they do that, they end up kinking the arm, which we don't want. No kinking the arm. Okay. Now where the elbow is, which is where the two sets become one, I'm going to stick my hook through there and I'm going to pull on it. And that'll cause the arm to bend. Okay. And now if you want to put some um, hair on it. Okay, this is optional. But he does have kind of hair on his arm. So you can stick your hook Let's see where the elbow is, right here. Grab these bands from in there, pull a couple white bands through, tie a slip knot with them. And then you can cut them with scissors. Okay, and it'll give it a hairy look, and you can even put more down here if you want to. Okay, that is up to you. Okay, so make two arms, make sure the second is opposite. Okay, so the thumb should be on the other side on the second one. Okay. If it's too confusing, you can make them the same and then just use your hook to bend the toes the other direction. That's up to you. 
<gasps> okay, great. That's cool. All right, now we're gonna work on the back leg. Okay. So I'm gonna take a clear band, wrap it around my hook, creating five loops. Okay, take another clear band, double loop it. Pull that on there. Okay, get clean. Grab another one. Okay, now I'm going to take two white. Okay, like that. Alright, there's one toe. Let's make the middle one. So again, taking the claw color. Making the toe this or the toenail the same size as the one we just did. Okay, and now we're taking two bands. And we're gonna take two more. Like that. Push it down. And we're gonna do one more. Okay, sorry, we're just putting one set of white on there. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, now you're going to take two white. You're going to pull all three toes onto those two white. Push it down. And now you're going to take four white bands and you're going to wrap them three times around. Clean the loop like that. Okay, so it looks like this. Now you're going to take three bands. Pull it on. So now they're all on the three bands. And then you want to take three more. Okay. Just like that. So this is one foot. You will have to make a second one. You can do it now or later. Okay. For your other, for your other leg. All right, now, put that aside, we're going to make the muscle for the leg. So I'm taking the, uh, I'm going to change this back to offset. Taking the metallic two at a time. down five times. Okay, take two bands at a time. Okay, and then we're going to wrap one around this peg, creating three loops. Okay, then you're going to grab two loops up. Up.
is the muscle. You can make a second one now if you want, or later you will need one for the second leg as well. You can make it exactly the same as this one. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the actual leg part. So... Two bands at a time again. Okay, take three bands here. Okay. Now we're taking two at a time. We're going to double loop. I'm using clear here because I ended up using clear on the other leg. I don't know why, but he's white. Okay, now we're going to make a toe. We're going to take clear. We're going to wrap it around our hook, creating five loops. We're going to double loop a clear. There we go. And then double loop a white. Okay, and this, I'm going to put curving up right here. Okay. Now we're going to take the foot and we are going to wrap the bands around this peg, the same peg we put the toe on. Make sure the toes are curled like this way. Okay. If you're doing the other leg on the opposite side, the toes should be curled this way. Okay. And now I'm going to begin looming. Stop there. And we're going to stop here. Okay. We take the muscle, turn it upside down so it's curving up, go through the cat band, wrap it around this peg here, loop over these bands. Then we're going to go up five times two, three, four, Five. Okay. Now you can kind of lift that muscle up, and like we did before with the head, we're going to go through the bottom corner loops of this of each set, right? Corner loops. Yes. And loop it up. Okay. Now as I go up, I can also lift in the bottom a little bit to keep the bands from overstretching. There 
straight right, go through the loops, wrap around, loop up. Tie off with a different color than you already have there. So I'm using mango. Pull off the black tying bands. Leave the mango ones on, pull the black ones off. Okay. Alright, so we have one back leg. You need to go make a second one. The second one needs to be opposite. Okay, so, you know, like that. Okay. Again, you can hold your screen in front of a mirror to see what I mean by that. Okay. Um, so you should have your head, neck, Two front legs and two back legs done by the end of this video. And also, let me tell you now, for the next portion, you will be needing to make, let me just do a quick count here. Mm. About 30 of those little knobs. Okay, so these little knob things that we put on the neck, you will need to make about 30 of them. You can do that now or wait until the next video. Okay. I will see you over there in the next part.